Well, we may as well get started here. Hello, hello, and welcome to the light stream. <laughs> hey, thank you for the remainder biddies, Count. Thank you so much. I am playing some Vintage Story. I know we said uh, last stream we'd play some Doom, and I still intend on playing some Doom. However, I picked up a uh, Vintage Story today, and it's pretty cool, cool, cool. So I've been having a little bit of fun getting started. It's like, it's basically a game made for Terra Firma Craft. Like, dedicated game of Terra Firma Craft. See you, Count. Have a great night. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, baskets, vessels. Uh, you don't carry vessels on your back, at least I don't think you do. Uh, you have these like four slots down here which you slowly upgrade with better and better um, and slot storage things. These become useless eventually um, because you can't use them on the ground. But I am making a shovel blade. I'm going to take my coal before it burns away. Not coal, charcoal. I have no storage system at the moment. I've literally just moved all this stuff here from my starter base, which is somewhere in that direction. For, yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a, I imagine, like, okay, here's how I imagine you're holding it, right? You've got one around your wrist and then one in your hand. And the one in your hand stops the one on your wrist from falling off. And you're, you're doing that twice. But then again, you're also holding your tools while you have these equipped, so... <laughs> exactly, cuts. Uh, put it there, thanks. So that is only going to be usable once it hits 200 degrees C. What I ought to be doing at this juncture, I've just moved here, it's a nice a picturesque mountaintop. Uh, I ought to be finding copper, and the thing about that is I noticed right here a little bit of copper. Um, so presumably there's copper directly underneath me, which would be hilarious and awesome. And see some pretty bare purlin noise. To be fair, it has a more rolling. Um, yeah. I mean, you can definitely see the noise function here, right? <laughs> However, uh, I still think it's a bit better than Minecraft's base noise gen. It does have landslide mechanics. Yeah, you did. Okay, so you see that fellow, that Streamlabs fellow? He's going to probably pop off one, uh, three times a stream if I had anything to do about it. I'm, uh, I'm only mentioning that because I want to kind of keep an eye on how that performs over the night. Well, actually, it'll probably only pop off, no, three times this stream. Should be. Okay, so I've exposed some rock. That's all well and good. Now let's go and expose some copper, hopefully. I've just broken to the Middle Age, so things have just started getting exciting.
Aha! Poor quality, damn it. <laughs> well, it, it's a quality, so it's some copper, and I'm happy to see copper. Back this truck up. Looks like it might be a nice big vein, though. Daya would be so proud of me not using a shovel. It's mostly just because I'm waiting for my shovel to cool down, though. I think uh, what I do like about whatever noise generator they're using is that on the scale they're using it, it's hard to tell on the local, like just looking around in first person, if you're not actually specifically looking for it, um, which is nice. Right. Why don't you see a hill though, yeah. <laughs> You can see how smooth it is. Oh, you're still cooling down. All right, back to the sago then. You guys better not get angry at me. The rams happen to get angry at you if you go near their baby. Uh, you know, I'm just here mining, okay? Rams. Right, so. Maxed it out in that direction, which is good. <laughs> that is an excellent joke, Ethan! I am indeed just mining my own business! Because mining is my business, and I'm minding it. Hi, Danny. Why you no go to bed? Hi, Tyronix. How you doing? Yeah, me too. Like, they've got a little bit of oxidation on it, and then they've also got, like, the base color, and... I think they are using, like, a 32 by 32 base, though. So, a little easier to, to get some uh, detail in there. Oh, fair enough, Danny. Well, welcome, welcome. I'm yet to be convinced that anything more than 32x in a voxel game is needed. Yeah, 32 is the, the high end, for sure. In my humble opinion. But I have been known in the past to use 32-bit um, Minecraft texture packs. I know, scandalous. <laughs> we'll have to do 24x. <laughs> I actually am kind of intrigued to see how 24x would turn out. Probably not well. Probably not well. I'll be taking you. I'm going to need you, but I also would like a stick. Excellent. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, though. But that's a very Minecraft thing to do. So, you know, this is 
um, Minecraft adjacent. Wait, did I? Oh, it is my inventory. Never mind. <laughs> we take the, the, the nuggies. Sorry, we take the chunks and then we turn them into nuggies. We got a stack and a bit of nuggies. This is the most copper I've ever had. It's not like your McDonald's nuggies. Hey, Sands. <laughs> just enough, just enough to get to early middle age Tron, um, Tyronx. I am, I'm very ex eager to see where it goes. I really liked uh, Terra Firma Craft, so I'm, I'm eager as a beaver. Yes, just smashing cubes. No pulling on vertices whatsoever. Who does that? Not me. <laughs> Danny, did you ever see my original concept for um, Batania's um, pylons? I like telling this story because I'm. I, this is one of these um, situations where it's like, Vasky, I believe in you, and I'm just going to let you do what you want because uh, you asked me to do it, and it's not my mod. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this, but I disagree. <laughs> Hang on, I have to share now. I have to. Uh, Imger dot com let's go to my gallery excuse me get the hell out of my way thing it was like a message from Imgur in my way gosh darn unacceptable Oh, my imager is getting huge. It's full of like work in progress stuff. Some stuff I finished, some stuff I never did. Golly golly gosh. Okay, I went too far. I don't even know what you can see on screen right now because it's on the wrong monitor. But I'm looking for it. I'm doing it. It's happening. Real though. Uh. Here, I'll move it across. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's mostly because Vasky had some like early ideas of what he wanted to do for Britannia, but hey, it's me. Hey, it's my brother. Uh There it is. No. What are you doing? I want to open it. Yeah. Now I want you to get, give me the PNG link and then I want to go here. Hey Preacher, how are you doing? So originally when Vatsky was like, it's a flower based magic mod, I was like, Heck yeah. And then they were like, here's some crystal. I want you to do some crystals, some pylons. Uh, think of the Protoss. Like, think of the Protoss, not make it exactly like the Protoss pylons. And I'm like, okay, I'll make like Protoss pylons that are all druidy. And <laughs> so I did this. And I was like, Vasky, is this cool? And Vasky's like, can you do Protoss pylons? <laughs> so 
So, uh, yeah, that's my story of conflict of interest. <laughs> Thought y'all might like that. Wait, I did end up finished? Oh. Oh my. I zoned out, didn't I? Thought I never actually finished digging this section. Oh, don't worry. With me around, they know that sass is coming, so... Like... Screw them, right? <laughs> Not really. I love the devs. They wouldn't know good art if it slapped them in the face. I know, I know. I'm all there, Danny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, Danny, are you there with me when people are like, oh, but the... The original Minecraft textures are so good, I love the Minecraft textures, and I'm just sitting there going like, y'all need change, because these are objectively better. <laughs> yeah. Y'all afraid of change. Change scary. Me dinosaur. Me no like. Oh no, here come Comet. Yeah, I know, Preacher. I really, uh, however, I don't think that in particular, okay, two things. First, I don't think that's the dev's fault. Um, that's Forge not getting its shit together, uh, quite frankly, um, cause they just won't. There was things that they were meant to fix and implement, like, at the start of last year, and they still haven't. Uh, however, I do think in the meantime, devs should act as if nothing's going to change. Yeah, um, I actually will say that there is a couple of textures that I think could be cleaned up a little bit, but uh, the technique is clearly better, <laughs> even on those um, slightly less... Uh, tile um, friendly textures. But when somebody's like, oh, the glowstone was so much better, I'm like, no. <laughs> Objectively incorrect. Hello, drifters. Guys, order like find something other else to do other than harass me. I'm out here living my best life, looking for more copper. Cause I need enough copper for an anvil, which I suppose I should actually. Ooh, hey, hey, back off, back off, back off. I did not mean any harm to your Billy? That was your assumption? So now I'm taking your meat. Hey my god. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about Alaram's game. 
I'm going to hold my judgment, although I do have some, until there's actually something playable. Stuff's over here. I can tell because the mini map. Excuse you! Sir! I do not have infinite health. Back off. I don't know where your, your baby was for you to get angry at me. Angry! I really do think that's that's kind of we're seeing it too with the um aether, aetherite netherite aetherite um i'm combining grim dawn and in minecraft um we're seeing it with the netherite stuff i think people just scared of change y'all takes at least it takes people longer than it seems to take myself to get used to the idea of new thing on average. Maybe I just have a stupidly open mind, but... Half-Life 3 is coming first, my god. It's just called Half-Life Alex. And I have feelings about Half-Life Half Alex, mostly to do with uh, accessibility. Tan me some hide. Get in there. What's that other hide doing? It's doing. Slowly. I already slept. Where's the moon? You're on your way down. That's good. What can I do in the meme time? Mm, right. Oh. Ah! You jerk. Get. Heckin' dead. They're trying to make it $17 to make it more... Um, ah! So many! To make it more... Uh, approachable for folks, but like, they don't realize that the people who already have a VR system probably don't mind spending $60. <laughs> Yeah, I knew you were there. I knew you were there. Get heckin' wrecked. Drifter, more like deader. Hey. Also true. My main problem right now is I don't have any trees. And by trees I mean firewood. Uh, I should probably... No, that's not a good idea. I was gonna start making a... I'm paranoid. Um... I'm going to start making the mold, or I will make the mold, for a exit. And as soon as I have some firewood, we'll make an axe.
this uh, system for crafting things could really take a leaf out of algorithms book by the way because having the options for one two or three and duplicate is not good by not good I mean not enough Oh, I just do it sloppily and then clean it up. Pick this up. Beat Saber is, I have heard, anyway, I have never played it. Um, because I am also one of the unfortunate folks who could probably never get used to VR. Because I almost immediately need to throw up as soon as I put on a headset. My inner ears are screwed or something. Hey Kiwi, how you doing? X, let me ask you a question. Was that any? I believe you, I just want to know. <laughs> oh, you... Vasky, it's totally open to meme ideas like that. Ask Vasky to make that a thing and it'll probably happen. I almost have no doubt that that would happen, actually. Aha. What's going on here? All oh, right, it's an already constructed one, so I don't have to do the laugh at the beginning. Uh, touch, light. I am an efficient girl. I wait until it gets up to 700 degrees before I put my charcoal in. Um, we still need to fire you anyway, so... You're fired. A New Zealand inspired gastropub. I actually don't know what that would look like, because in terms of gastropubs in New Zealand, they're inspired by England. I suppose there's probably some differences though, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what they are. Let's take a look at a website while we wait for things to heat up. New Zealand inspired gastropub. Well, they're using the right font for New Zealand. <laughs> uh, this is like every New Zealand website ever. True. Uh, oh. Uh, what's the city near you, Markod? Carry Town. Okay. Let's see if I can spot anything particularly New Zealand. Ah, uh, it seems to be... okay. Okay, fair enough. It seems to be New Zealand sourced stuff. Good, that's your starters. How's your burgies? I am an Aucklander. I don't know how this is an Aucklander. <laughs> Let's see if I can spot one that is particularly New Zealand. -in -in -in. An easy way to do this. Be good. Eat. 
Um, purple. There's no beetroot kiwi. Oh, very cute. They have picked up that we we like to casually call avocado avo. So true, Kiwi. I've actually found that the secret to beetroot in burgers is to pad them down with a paper towel before you put them on the um, burger. And that sorts out like 99.9% .9 of the slosh. Organic free range manuka honey mustard. There we go, manuka honey. That's very New Zealand. Mustard sauce, grilled green apple, turkey bacon, brie cheese, caramelized onions. That sounds amazing. You are absolutely correct. Kiwi trick. Organic free range chicken, chipotle barbecue sauce. Chipotle is not even a New Zealand thing. And it's named the Kiwi chick. In fact, it's very hard to find chipotle in New Zealand. <laughs> Kiwi, can you name a place that does Chipotle? I can't. I think Domino's might have like a Chipotle pizza. <laughs> oh, they got the lamb in there. That's a good sign. Yeah, no, and there's, there are very few burrito places in New Zealand. Let me just pause Vintage Story because I'm wasting the day if I don't. <laughs> um, very few burrito places. That being said, the Mexican joints in New Zealand are amazing. Um, and I think the only franchise one that I know of at least in Auckland, is Mexicali Fresh, which might be just a New Zealand franchise. Yeah, we did only just get a Taco Bell, that is scarily true. Asian Thai chick, is this gonna be good? Okay, I'm one of the few people where cilantro tastes like soap. We call it coriander here. Um, but otherwise that sounds amazing and I would just ask them to hold the coleslaw or if they have a different coleslaw subst substitute it. Yeah, coriander is uh, cilantro. Yeah, I went through the same problem in reverse cuts. And at one point, I couldn't think of the name that we use here in New Zealand because I had too much exposure to Americans. So I was like, I want to tell you cilantro, but that's not going to make any sense to you. Um, okay, so otherwise, these sound really good. They obviously know what they're doing in terms of like combinations of things. Some of them might be a little complex, like this hangover cure. Because this is almost a kiwi burger. Okay, so a kiwi burger is basically, the, the raw ingredients for a kiwi burger are lettuce, tomato, beef patty, beetroot, um, fried egg. Yeah, preferably pickled. Not raw sliced.
Yeah, Marco, do it. Do it. I dare you. Um, and also, like, if you if you're feeling up to it, get their response on either paper or phone. <laughs> hey, my New Zealand friend wants to know what the fuck's up with your burgers. Why is there no pickled beets? Also, what's the Aucklander got to do with guacamole? Let's look at elixirs. So, the kiwi. I imagine the elixirs is like their smoothies and stuff. Or their, uh... This one has alcohol in it, so actually maybe it's their margaritas. Uh, Tito's Organic Prairie Vodka. Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, fresh muddled kiwi fruit. We add fruit on the end, by the way, um, because otherwise you're referring to the bird. Yeah, dude. This implies you put a you put our national bird in a blender. <laughs> they are fairly muddled, yeah. But they're incredibly adorable because of how muddled they are. Garnished with kiwi fruit. These are all mules. Who like a mule? Hmm. Mezcal. I've only had mezcal once, and it was really good. Do they have any? It doesn't look like they do. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wondering if they had any gin ones. Because I'm a gin girl. Uh, London Dry Gin, Cream de Violet, Luxardo, Arscano. I have no idea how to pronounce this elegantly, by the way. Uh, I think it's like Marciano, wasn't it? Uh, liqueur, fresh lime juice. Excellent. That sounds excellent. Ah, I paused it. <laughs> I didn't at first pause it. But while you were still away, I, uh, I figured out that I didn't pause it. Marish, maraschino, maraschino. Is that good, maraschino? The kiwi does sound excellent, though. I am, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, there's something r missing off this whole thing. Unless it's in beverages, I might be speaking too soon. Because the big deal in New Zealand at the moment, which is starting to become a bit of a national, like, infection, is um, really incredible organic smoothies. Like, I had one today. It was apple, spinach... Uh, strawberries, uh, blackberries, uh, orange. I think there's one thing that I'm forgetting. Oh, kiwi fruit. <laughs> Yeah, they need to do kiwis. Ask them why they're not doing kiwis. Uh, kiwis? <laughs> smoothies. <laughs> Ask them why they're not doing smoothies. I'm muddled like a kiwi, but I'm psh. Those boigas. They are? They do sound pretty good. I am only going to look at the seafood for you guys. 
because I don't eat seafood. Due to some sort of childhood trauma, I cannot swallow seafood. I, I smell the smell, and then the moment I smell the smell, my, like, it stops. I can't... See, no fish and chips and... Your mussels, good start. Roasted oysters. No. Chips. That's the one kiwi. For me, it's potato fritter, though. Uh, sorry. Because I'm usually having chips as well, so potato fritter is overkill. Corn fritter. <laughs> Corn fritter and chips drowned in tomato sauce. Surely it's a starter though, right? Come on. Batch made hummus. Cheese plate. Fresh guacamole. Fresh fruit salad. That mac and... This is the perfect spot for fish and chips. Like, I know Americans really like mac and cheese and to some degree a New Zealand inspired restaurant should, or what, did, what are you calling it, gastropub, should be aiming itself at Americans. But like, there's not a single pub in New Zealand that doesn't do fish and chips. Or fish and wedges. How did I not notice the, the fries menu? Thank you, Kiwi. Malt vinegar is actually a very British thing. We're tomato sauce all the way. Or if you're feeling particularly spicy, Worcestershire sauce. Or some, actually, no, that's not true. I was thinking of HP, which it's just called HP. Uh, heck, let's Google it. HP sauce. HP sauce is a brown sauce. Um, so that's what you have if you're p feeling particularly spicy. Uh, not Worcestershire. But yeah, vinegar's the British thing. HP is just A1. Let's look at A1, because I'm not familiar. Not this A1. <laughs> we'll put sauce on the end. Oh, hey. That has an incredibly recognizable label. Steak sauce. Tomato puree, distilled vinegar, corn syrup, salt. Let's compare. Let's do a comparison. I love that the stream has just evolved into into discussions about food, like, and websites up to, to help with the discussion. <laughs> uh, where's your ingredient list? Here? Yeah, okay. Tomato base, malt vinegar, spirit vinegar, sugars, Dates, corn flour, rye flour, salt, spices, and tamarind. And very specifically, I remember the bottle says, yeah, um, the bottle says, um, it either literally says rotten tomatoes or fermented tomatoes. I can't remember which it is. Um, 
and I think it's Rotten Tomatoes because everyone I used to show that to used to be like, what? Because when you hear fermented, you're not like grossed out, right? Raisin paste. Oh no, these are already different. Orange puree, celery seed, so that ends a not, not relabeled A1, Preacher. Although they do very much look the same. Like they've got the same um, label style. But I feel like they're very much a different beast. I've never had American chocolate and I've been told it's terrible. If you read the A1, it says HP is its basis for creation. Okay, so the ingredient list in A1 source is like the locally, um, and by locally I mean nationally, uh, sourced ingredients to try and make a like HP like. Created the original source on which A1 is based. Popular myth is that his king declared it A1 and its name was born. Fish meat or fowl. Okay. And this is the source that. William Henderson William Brand made HP sauce. No, Frederick Gibson Gatton. Add more sugar, reduce the chocolate flavor. That's American chocolate. Hershey's doesn't have enough cocoa in it to qualify as chocolate in the UK. That is hilarious. We had a real problem in New Zealand though, um, and Kiwi, you might have to fill in some of the details here if you can remember as well, um, to do with Cadbury, which is our, like, was our, still is, our, like, national chocolate brand, um, if you want to assign it that and Cadbury which made like some seriously amazing chocolate was bought out by a company that I cannot remember the name of and now all their chocolate sucks particularly on Easter's we had yeah Whitaker is king um particularly on Easter we have these things called cream eggs I think England does as well. I don't know if America does. Um, and Cadbury used to make the best ones and now they suck. Schweppes merger. No, that's not right. Craft. Craft, you bastards. Okay, so that's our adventures in food land. <laughs> um, I saw the notification number and I immediately got pulled towards my Twitter tab. Like I was on autopilot. Oh heck, are you doing that thing game? I've noticed there's a thing where if it's been tabbed out and paused for too long, it like 
fully crashes once you go back into the game and by fully I mean soft crashes it never recovers but sometimes it does question mark yeah the liquid cream inside the cream eggs became kind of a um it's like it's like it was made so cheaply that pretty much 100% all the time crystallizes and so it becomes this kind of grainy it's like the chocolate equivalent of a um, mealy apple <laughs> yeah we some t some people make Yorkshire pud in New Zealand because um, we're super British inspired here but I wouldn't say it's a regular thing Okay, I'm going to executively decide that this has fully kicked the bucket. Yorkshire pudding is amazing. But if we're talking about a pudding, I think a bread pudding is my favourite. Bread pudding with custard. Maybe some, like, whole blackberries. And a little bit of brown sugar. Okay, how are we doing? I think... Excuse you. <laughs> I could see inside a hill over there. Uh, I think it saved at the right spot. I think we're good. So, yeah, there's a completed axe mold. Eh. Uh, crucible, I think. 20 nuggets. And into the heckin' fire with you. Right. And then we're gonna swap that out. At a opportune time. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, you're going to reach temperature before you get down there. Okay. Thank you for following, Shondol. Yeah, fries with mayo. Not unheard of. Okay, cats, have a wonderful sleep. Yeah, sleep. Yeah, Yoli. Heckin' awesome. And then garlic aioli. My, my tier list is garlic aioli, aioli. And then mayo on the mayo list. But if you want to get super like creative, adjacent to garlic aioli, I would put habanero aioli. If you're feeling a little spicy, but um I don't know how I'm holding this with my bare hands, but I am. Okay. That's going to have to cool down. So let's use our daytime to find things. Hello, drifters. What are you doing out during the day? Go home. You're so silly. Ah, I see what's happened. There's a little cave entrance here, and they're crawling out of it. Also, also, if you're like, you know, desperate for some 
um, creative confection. Confection? Creative sourcing. <laughs> Uh, at like a fast food restaurant, mayo and barbecue sauce mixed. You can even use terrible um, McDonald's barbecue sauce and it'll still taste acceptable. Okay, I need to Start cutting down these trees. Dude, you are like Wendy's adjacent. <laughs> Me personally, a uh, dead rooster. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, because for me, it's Vanilla Frosty and Wendy's Chips. But same idea. Hey Nanian, you made it! This ram also is trying to make it into my face. And succeeding. Get out of here. I recovered just a little bit how of health and then some heckin' ram gets angry at me. Again. Oh no! What happened, Danny? Oh. So you're not a salted caramel person then, huh? Yeah, salted caramel. It's a thing. A real, very real thing. In my personal experience, we don't do the bacon part with pancakes, we're more all about the pancakes and maybe some like light cream, you know, the stuff that's still liquid. Because maple syrup isn't like super common and when you do get maple syrup it's expensive. Jam! Yes! Like raspberry jam, especially. Come on, brownies. Uh, haven't tried it. Would definitely try it. No, I haven't, but now that you mention rice cooker pancakes, I can totally see how that works. Yeah, that would be so fluffy. I guess you could only cook one at a time though, right? <laughs> Unless you have some sort of shelving system. <laughs> a bouquet of rice cookers. <laughs> yeah, so you can have a full stack. <laughs>
Oh, here's a good question for you. Uh, what? How? How big is a full stack? So for your for your nationality, I would say four. I am playing Vintage Story. <laughs> Danny in with the win. It does scream Minecraft, and there is a very, very good reason for that, Nannian. It is entirely inspired by um, Terra Firma Craft. Turnips. Like, I've been on this hill a while and I didn't know all this nice food was here. Cool. Pine sapling. I suppose we could grow some pine. I was kind of hoping for maple sapling, though. Boop. 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 Aw, sorry cities. Thank you for dropping by though. Really appreciate that. Hey, hey. Axe upgrade. Okay. Oh no, you're burning through my coal. Oops. <laughs> um, quick, let's make use of this wood. Here we go. No, come back to me. Okay. Okay. Let's sort out this inventory. We got some rye. We got some onions. We got some actual onions and some actual turnips. And I am going to put them in here. Nope. Apparently I'm going to put that on my hotbar. Sticks. I am not currently looking at chat until I am done sorting this inventory. I am so sorry. But if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Rax is not looking at chat. Quick. Uh, it's the mods away equivalent. Got some rye. I'm gonna sneakily use you as a sort of storage thing. And I have a maple sapling. Okay, I'm looking at chat now. Oh, hey, new. <laughs> Shh, don't give it away. Give it away, give it away, get a bit, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Now. Give it away. Now. Give it away. Now. Uh. Okay, firewood. We're doing it, fam.
should have us sorted for a little while. So now I need more clay. I know where to get clay, as you can see it on the map. Uh, control, shift, right click. Good. Good, 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 good. Map. Is there any near me though? Oh, yes. There and there and there. We'll go for this one. <laughs> it's a good song. Don't let anyone tell you it's a bad song. Probably the only um Red Hot Chili Pepper song that I actually like. <laughs> uh, I need some food. I, I know that I have steaks cooking. I should have some steaks ready there. Oh no. Okay, now we get clay. Oh, nice, my god. I've known quite a few people that um, their band of choice is Red Hot, for sure. Um, but that's just because I'm a rocker anyway. I'm just more of an alt rocker. I'm like Tool and Perfect Circle and Pussifer. Yes, that was literally all three of Maynard's bands, but... Uh, <laughs> It gives you a good idea of the kind of um, alt rock that I'm into. Also, metal, even Townsend band, Rammstein. Uh, and old Nightwish. Not so much new Nightwish. Although, that being said, that does not mean I approve of why Nightwish broke up. Um, that was a very Yoko Ono moment for the band. Pixelation when I run around. Mm, no, it's not saying I'm getting frame drops. Stream what say you? Yeah, but my bit rate's pretty high. Well, thank you for informing me. Let me take a look at this. Uh, the Joe. Oh, output. Twenty five hundred. <laughs> You're right, Danny. I appreciate you being here nonetheless. Shouldn't that be 25,000? Not 2,500. Preacher, chime in here. I can never remember. My question then is how did it get to 2,500? I swear I said it, 20, 25,000. Oh, 
Well, I've had these settings for a while, and if I remember right, it's imported settings from OBS. But I guess it might have, like, derped in an update or something. Hang on, y'all, I'll just grab this clay and I'll press escape. Then I'm going to end the stream and be right back because I cannot change it while the stream's running, unfortunately. <laughs> 